So in the last slide, I kind of talked about that images basically have a lot of numerical values that we can actually be uh, traversing around on a matrix and a regular grid. Now let's look at what we can do with that kind of stuff. One of the things I wanted us to think about is the whole concept of an image histogram. An image histogram basically measures the statistics of the image uh, in terms of all of the gray values that exist in that image. So imagine if I could, is I have created a bin which has values of 0 to 255. And every time I will scan through this image, and every time I say come down to the first one, I see the value of intensity is, let's say, 120. I will put one there. And then I will go find another one, might be 125. It might move around. And, and basically, it starts measuring how many pixels have a value of, let's say, 200. How many pixels have a value of 100? And that will start kind of creating a histogram of that image and kind of start giving you statistics of that image. And this basically is what this image's histogram looks like, uh, with a peak here, comes down, and uh, closes this way. Now, interesting thing to note is there are not a lot of full 100% white values here. And if you look at this image, you might actually see that to be true. Uh, there is a few zeros, dark values here. But most of the information is right in the middle. Now, of course, we don't have to do this for the entire image. Another thing to note is that we can actually do statistics on the whole image. We can compute the average. For the entire image, we can compute the median or any other kind of statistical, statistical information for that image. The scope of this need not be the entire image. I could just say is I want to do it for this box. Or I want to actually, even if I could figure out how to come up with this just this region, what would be the statistics of this? Or just the you know pixels associated with that. I, of course, I would have to find the scope, the range of that region to be able to do those computations in. But that entirely depends on us. This histogram, of course, is for the entire image. But of course, histograms could also be for specific uh, ranges. I could do one for this region, this region, this region. And again, it basically starts giving me information about what is the range of information or the pixel values, the intensities for that specific subpart. It could be region-based, and of course, it could be channel-based. Now, I haven't actually introduced the concept of channels yet, but that's coming soon.